That was such a, a beautiful description of the manuscript of the now beautiful object, red, black, and white object that is the book. Um, Dan just asked me to say a little bit about the editorial process, so I haven't prepared this, but um, what leaps to mind first is when I first heard Rinaldo read, which was in a restaurant in Provincetown that had windows overlooking the bay, and it was very dark, you know, stormy, dark winter ocean outside these windows. And um, sort of an informal reading, I think it might have been. And this was a group of writers that at that point I didn't know very well, and I remember being sort of distracted or kind of more interested in looking out the window than listening to what was going on or sort of feeling somewhat trapped, as one does occasionally at a reading. And then this person began to read, and it was like, you know, the, the sort of like the ocean rushing in the windows to, to be there in language. And I remember going up to Ronaldo afterwards, and I have no idea what I said, but I remember having that kind of um, rush forward of gratitude that one has sometimes when somebody has really read, has really inhabited language before you. So then, um, it couldn't have been too much longer. I was at that point the nonfiction editor of Fence Magazine, and I found out, I don't remember now how, that Ronaldo V. Wilson and Duriel E. Harris and Don Lindy Martin um, <laughs> had formed the Black Tote Collective, and so I asked them to contribute from a very, I think, still molten place in the formation of the project to Fence. And Black Took is 10 years old, and so is Fence now. And Fence has just done this anthology of kind of the best of. And so I revisited that contribution because it was one of the things that I thought was important to anthologize. So it's been very interesting to see these, these projects and these languages maturing, although obviously they're still developing, it's really thrilling to, to see that happening. And so then, as, as we did the future poem editing, it was like this manuscript was there, and that was um, a kind of another branch of that same growth. And the last thing to say about that is that I entered into, I think we all did enter into that, that particular editorial project thinking it could really go a lot of ways. There were very different sensibilities on the table, and we were sort of prepared for rah, kind of fighting, you know. And went away and read through these giant stacks of manuscripts and basically came back and were like, well, it's Ronaldo and Pam, right? And everybody's like, yeah, Ronaldo and Pam. <laughs> Ronaldo and Pam. Um, and it was this kind of also sort of joyous experience of feeling like, wow, here are these books that are so different and so good and so odd and so um, deeply enfleshed as emanations of the mind. So the poem I'm going to read is called Self-Portrait as Excess O, O Self Selves. Four white lights bleed, or black hole as the point of brilliance in the heart. A white hole pounds out a mode of lightning, grasped screen, bug by day, determinant by mist, a pile of trees, a pile of trees, a phone call with a stranger's photos in a box, it makes no sense. It is unclear. It has no chance. It is rotten steak, blacken it. I will cut you. A rage of meat, of decadent cards. A brutal end, Ruby Jean Johnson dead, slain. 
slain by a crack addict, an alien by alien in the rendering, a wisp of useless hair, a tank top in Harlem, the lazy-eyed thief cousin, dumb by weed, dumb by hot dog and cheese, dumb by adoption, dumb by dumb, way of seeing the headlights on the semi-open, a whir of opposition in the homophone, oscilloscope. Frame this moment where obsession is badness. Be bad. The glutton says it was black. Black took. Next, reburn your face. Rewash your head. Black, the downy lip of a freak. A flower syndrome. Pass on the black heart. Will my body break down the bile's impossible confusion? I am your autograph. Why, my eye, a black point speaks obsidian. Mouth slit by two crows, their song is dead. Your hard daddy is left fat and round, with a fat and round brain. I am hot all the time. Sometimes be girl, trying to make everything pretty. Or a girl, that flower girl, burning girl, a lady, alas. Big bird is a yellow miss who wished a big beak crack open your head. Know why a love poem really in the verticaria, why I learned to carry a, the arch over the sky, in the rasp of a conversation, a conversion. I am ready to kick in your face, a vacuum to accept this hate, racing cock wild movements in the fold, name them, collared or collard green, cola, be a fat ass, be a fuck face, a fucked face on a pillow, swallow, swallow in the brain, swallows, swallow to be swelled in a harrowing wood, looking up with not light.